<laughs> Second round begins. Oh, hey there. Sup? I'm Riley again. Uh, so, like, what should we talk about now? Sports, obviously. So, like, this may surprise you, but people always ask about the football in my head. Consider it a badge of honor, but also a reminder. You can push yourself too hard and lose everything you worked for. Five too many hits to the head. Whammo. Sports ghost at your service. Here to tell you that all girls have limits. That's good advice, right? I like using sports to make sense of stuff. Works super good. Need to fix something? Drop a play. You don't get anywhere without a plan. What do you have planned for us? Only the best time ever. Want to share something important to me? You see a Riley in its natural habitat. Oh, that was really fast. Bell rings. So, like, I was thinking. Might be fun to see a game together. My old teammates play in our state rivals. It's been a while since I've checked on in on them. I like that. Righteous! Just tap me after they wrap up here. I'll pick you up in my ghost car. <laughs> it's a convertible. Nice. Can't wait. Me neither! <laughs> oh. Hello again, sunshine. Good to see you back around. <laughs> we only touched on my past last time. Us ghosts tend to look back a lot, reflect, obsess maybe. Hard to know a ghost without knowing how she lived. So how did you live? Made my life in Vegas. Went there when things started booming. Figured I could make some money. At first, I lost a whole bunch. Slots. Look at you good. That I took this job, working for a casino boss, his executive assistant. I told him when to wear a tie and clear, uh, clean his dirty laundry. If you get my meaning. You must have made serious money. Honestly, no. The base pay was pretty sad, but when I did good, he gave me thousand dollar tips. Yo, that's pretty dope and put me up. Never had to pay a dime in rent. What was the catch? This guy was a scumbag. Real piece of work. There was nothing he wouldn't do. Buy people out. Rob them. There were so many convenient accidents. Anything to get at the con competition. I was the one who kept his secrets. I made them go away. <laughs> Sounds dangerous. It wasn't. Oh, really? Until it was. Oh. <laughs> One day in 1954, the casino rang me up. A voice. The boss's son. Said they were out of clean shirts. It was maybe 6 a.m. The sun wasn't up yet. I dropped my girl off at a sister. Oh, at a sitter. And we rushed over to the casino. You had a daughter? Sure did. I was a single mom in the 50s. In case you're doubting, why well, I stayed at the job. The casino front doors were locked. The doors were never locked. Security let me in and led me to the blackjack tables where my boss was waiting, dead on the floor. Oh shit, blood soaking into the burgundy carpets. Where was his son? Standing... Uh, standing next to his pops. He smiled when he saw me. You'll make this go away, he said. I nodded. Two guys, bigger than horses, stepped up behind me. They loaded my dead boss into the trunk of a black car. One of them drove. The other made sure to sit with me in the back seat. Did you like the son? No. When I say son, he 
You probably picture a kid. 20 or so. This guy was going on 45. He'd inherited his dad's thirst for power. <laughs> but not his loyalty. I kept thinking about where this put me. When we got to the desert, would they bury me too? But they didn't. I watched as my boss friend to the mayor, a builder, a legend. Got what he deserved, a hole in the sand. Did you confront the sun? Not a chance. By the time we got back to the strip, the casino was open, busy as ever, and the sun was out, making funeral arrangements. A heart attack, that's what they called it. Sudden, unexpected, tragic. Horse crap. And your daughter? Wait, but how did you die? I went home alone, locked all the doors and windows, turned off all the lights, and waited. Nothing happened, until I nodded off. I woke up to an intense heat, took a deep breath, sucking in hot, black smoke. My lungs felt like they were burning. I couldn't see. They burned my home down. After making sure I was inside, oh shit. I made sure she was taken care of. Had a bunch of money stashed away. My brother in Tulsa took her in for a long time. Damn, she gets way more time than the first dude got. <laughs> I couldn't hear, bear to see her. The time I was ready, I couldn't find her. Can't even tell you if she's still alive. Oh shit. Bell rings. Sorry this got so grim. After this is all over, maybe we can grab a drink? Try not to let the past haunt us. Even for just an hour? Damn. Hi. So wait, we're actually totally 100% dead? Yeah. As in afterlife? The afterlife? Y yeah. So you're a ghost. And I'm a ghost. This is why it's speed dating for ghosts. I thought that was strange. Then I just figured ghost was an ironic was ironic or something. Maybe slang. For people who are a little out of it. A little out of it. I uh, right now, especially. I know it's all hard to believe. It is hard to believe. I mean, really. Seriously. There's no such thing as ghosts. You seem pretty real. Are you just pulling my leg? Is this a prank show? One of these hidden camera things? I can see right through your weird monster makeup. This is no costume. <laughs> Ow, my ankle! So if this isn't a show... Then, what? A dream? Is this some messed up dream? Is that what it is? Oh my god, girl. I should be able to wake up myself up by, like, screaming or something. Please don't. That usually works. Please don't. <laughs> Sorry, dream ghost. It's time for this... water skier to wake up. <laughs> I like your little Oz better than mine. Nothing happened. Feel any better? I still feel alive. Just like disassociated. I get that. Like the world is going on without me. It's a familiar feeling. Felt it a lot when I was alive too. What was your life like? It was difficult. Except not really. Mostly life was pretty good. Good parents? Good parents, for sure. There was really one thing wrong with them. They were cooler than me. When I was born, they were in their early 20s. They were all into this weird music. Artsy movies about ballet school witches. And fantastic planets that were just creepy. My dad even smoked alternative cigarettes. Meanwhile, I was that dork with the puzzles. Learning languages for fun. My parents were excited when I joined band. They thought it would help me make friends. Mostly I just like to practice alone in my room. 
Then you get lonely? Everyone asks loners that. Some people like to be alone. It's easier to keep a handle on things, especially when things start to go wrong. And holy, did things go wrong in my life? What happened? This is hard to talk about. I had cancer. A brain tumor. It was bad. I diagnosed a week after my 19th birthday. Oh, started getting headaches and feelings. Used about things. Things would just look wrong. Out of place. It's hard to describe. What was the treatment like? It was rough. Radiation. Chemo. So much chemo. Said it was aggressive. So they had to be aggressive. Eventually the symptoms subsided. It seemed like they zapped it. They told me I was... Uh... uh Regression free? Whatever that means. I was allowed to go back to school, but I didn't. I retreated to my room. After so much time facing death, I had a lot of trouble facing people. Funny, huh? Now I'm facing death and people. Oh, damn. There's the bell. Guess I'm back into the world now. I have a lot to figure out. It was nice to meet you. Thanks for helping me talk about this. Death leaves the room. If you hurry, you could catch up to her. See if she'd like to talk some more. Then again, a date with a ghost like Steph might be... Might not be the most exciting. She's no football hunk. Nor is she the infamous lady in smoke. <laughs> so like... Can I... I, I, <laughs> I want to date Riley... I want to be friends with Vera and uh, keep in touch with Steph. Is that fair? Like, that's what I want to do. Because, like, I couldn't date Vera. That's too much smoking and stuff for me. Even if I am a ghost. Like, but she seems really fucking cool and really fun scaring bitches Steph needs to figure some stuff out definitely but I could talk to them a bit more oh that makes sense now kind of and then Riley just seems fun and hot so I'm gonna choose Riley sorry <laughs> but I told you what I wanted to do really asked you to meet at Key Heights Field, his old stomping ground when he played football for Haxton Tech. Smell that? Probably pretends to breathe it in. It smells like victory out there. And weed killer. Thanks for meeting me on a Sunday. This most holy place. My old team, the Phantoms are playing our arch rivals, the Demons. The Phantoms need to win this game. Not for some championship, just to maintain some dignity. They've had a sucky season. A lot of sucky seasons since I died, honestly. Not that I'm full of myself. <laughs> Make the way into the stadium. This is a college football game in the Midwest. The stadium is huge, something the pros would be lucky to play in. There are thousands of people here to cheer on the hometown phantoms. Riley takes you to, his, to the sidelines. Go get great seats at sporting events. If you want, you can go right on the field. Pretty neat, huh? Alright. Phantoms O, Demons O. Welcome to the second game of the... In our exciting late season doubleheader. The Hags and Phantoms have a luck, had a luckluster season, to say the least. Only winning two of their last seven games. Axman is looking to save the face against the bitter rivals. Hades, you and the other, and their screaming demons. Here we go. Phantoms get on the scoreboard early with a quick return and smart pass for six. Ooh. Damn. Touchdown! Nice. My guys don't mess around. Kick it through the upright for the extra point. Yes, easy point. 
After a few turnovers, the Phantoms throw a long bomb. They make a spectacular catch in the end zone. What a play! Oh, snap. Another touchdown. Phantoms try for the extra point. It's good! Nice work with the kick. There's a lot of game left. Totally. Anything can happen. And probably will. That's why I love football. Demons are looking for a new team in the second half. Like to see that. Try to turn it around. Make a huge push to get within the field. Goal range. Kick is long. But it's good for three! Pfft. Gotta do more than that. Phantom ball. They go for a gutsy pass. Interception! Oof. That wasn't a smart pass, guys. Demons are brought down again with the field goal range. After failing to get another first down, they opt to kick it through the uprights for three. Another field goal. <laughs> Don't worry. We still got this. Not worried. Love the optimism. Sports boys like encouragement. Don't even need to hear it. They can just feel it, you know? Phantoms are back on the offensive after a couple turnovers at midfield. They fumble the ball. The demons pick it up and start to run to the 50. The 40. They break free. They're going all the way. Touchdown. Oh, no. Demons try for the two-point conversion to tie it up. And it's good. Oh, no. Phantoms and demons are now tied with just a few minutes left in the game. What an exciting turn of events. Oh, shit. I gotta do something. I gotta help my team. I need to know they are good at sports. To go secretly fixing things? It'd be unsportsmanlike. And if they don't know what's really going on, totally not my style. What if you play for the other side? Even the odds a bit. Let's do this. Phantoms have possession. The young team watched their lead w disappear. Now they've all but lost their momentum. Everything is pointing towards their stunning defeat at home. We'll see about that. Riley takes control of a running back. Quarterback hands off the ball to Riley, who makes a break for it. He's tackled quickly. It's fourth down, but the Phantoms are just within field goal range. Riley has to gain three yards to risk turning the ball over to you. All right. I got some options here. Choose a defense based on what you expect Riley to do. Uh, run the ball. Phantom tried it for the field goal. Ah, fuck. Despite you setting up for a running play, the ball sails into the air on a straight path to the uprights. Unless... Make it miss. I don't know where the ball veers left. In midair. It's not going to make it. Wait. The ball's veered back on course. It's through the uprights. Field goal. What's going on? The Phantoms are up by three. I saw that, you cheater. So I made things right. No more of that, okay? Winners don't cheat. Fair enough. Demons have possessed you now. Make a heck of a return. Three short plays, they reach the phantom yard line. Uh, 40 yard line. <laughs> Let's see what you can do. Oh, God. Drive for a touchdown. Demons attempt a gutsy pass on the third down. Yeah! Interception! Phantoms regain control of the ball. They have a chance to widen their lead. Tough break. <laughs> Gotta know when to kick, bud. First down at the phantom 40 yard line. Uh, expect a run? Phantom outbreak. Quarterback moves back, then right, before finding an opening to the left. Takes off running. Jukes right, then right again. It's got a clear path to the end zone. Touchdown! <laughs> I'm getting them all wrong. How are you feeling? Feeling good? I'm feeling good. Kick. Phantoms take the wrist and try for two. Risk. Pays off! Oh my god, I'm getting them all wrong. They're running back past the demon's defense who were set up to block the kick. Ooh, I feel like dancing! Do it. Do it, bet. 
because we were expecting a field goal. Rally was able to convert for two points. That settles it, folks. With seconds left, the Demons only have time to mount one more run. You're out of time. Even if you cheated again, it wouldn't be enough. Phantoms win! If the Demons fought hard to tie the game, Phantoms came alive in tenth fourth quarter. Ugh. In a tense fourth quarter to win it with confidence. I've been talking a lot. That was rad! Dot, dot, dot. Riley stands there awkwardly, not making eye contact. Can I kiss you? <laughs> Absolutely! Nice. He pursues his lip. Uh. What? Purs purses? His lips and leans in to kiss you. You lean in too. You go right through each other. <laughs> Riley looks embarrassed. That was my first time trying to kiss a ghost. Guess I need some practice. <laughs> Cute. Want to try again? Holy shit, I need water. <laughs> this has been Speed Dating for Ghost. It's a cute game. It's really fun. Uh, link will be down below if you want to try it yourself. There are two other rooms, which I'm guessing means six other people, including the two I didn't go for. If you want to check it out yourself, I highly suggest it. I hope to see you in the next one. You can check me out at twitch.tv forward slash katiescoop if you want to see more of me live playing different games, mostly Dead by Daylight, <laughs> amongst other things, for Spooktober. Nice of frights. Anyways... I hope you enjoyed, and hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye!